here we are in this problem, problem number, example number nine from chapter 17. In this case, we have a truck, right? The truck is at rest right here, so we, this is fixed. And we are asked the initial normal and friction force between the crate and this platform if the initial angular acceleration of the platform is two radians over second square, and it starts from rest. So if we do first our kinematics analysis, we see that the crate is moving along with the platform. Therefore, if we see that it starts from rest, here we have a pin, and this is moving in this direction, right? So this point A have a tangential acceleration, and we know that the tangential acceleration is alpha O angular acceleration times R, and this point has also an, an tangent acceleration. And then we have a normal acceleration that points towards the point of rotation, which is omega square r. However, it starts from rest. It means that the initial angular velocity is equal to zero. So this one over here is equal to zero. Therefore, if we do our kinetic diagram, we will have a, let me draw it with a different color. So this here will have this it moved in a circular in a circular path and this crate moved with that platform. Therefore we will have mass times angular acceleration times R, which is the tangent acceleration. And then we have a normal acceleration which is equal to zero. Okay, so that was our kinematic analysis. If we do our free body diagram, so we want to separate the crate from the platform. We have the weight of the crate, which is 150 pounds, right? And then we have the normal force between the crate and the platform, right here. And then we have a friction force. What is the direction of the friction force? When I'm moving forward, the crate wants to stay behind. Therefore, the relative velocity, which is there isn't because we are starting the motion, right? But the tendency of motion is the crate to move backwards. Therefore, the friction force is in that direction. So this is the kinetic diagram, the free body diagram, and then we do our equations of motion. Equation of motion then I can add forces either in the direction of tangent and normal, or I can di direction using my x and y coordinate system, and therefore I need that angle. I have this angle right here, and as you see, if this angle right here is 30 degrees, then this angle right here is also 30 degrees, right? So this angle right here is 30 degrees, right? Which is given. Therefore, I add forces in x. As I said, you could choose add forces in tangent and normal, and therefore then you will have to put these forces in terms of tangent and normal. So you can choose either coordinate system. I choose to do it in x and y. So what do I, we have in x? This one is equals to zero and this one has a component. And in this case, I only have Fc, right? Because the other ones are in Y, and then I have equals to mass alpha 
r. Cosine of 30. And if we substitute, we already have the mass because we have the weight. Remember that when we use US customary units, our mass is our derived unit. Therefore, Fc will be equals to the mass, which is 150 divided by 32.2, right, which is the gravity, times alpha, which is given, which is 2 radians per se over second square, times this radius over here that is also given, which is 2. And we have that. We can just multiply that, and we have the friction force. The friction force, in this case, is 16.1 pounds. And then this is our first result. When I add forces in Y, I will have the normal force minus the weight equals to mass times the tangent acceleration times sine alpha r sine of 30. This is known. This is known again, right? Let me write it down there. That will be 150 plus 150 divided by 32.2, and sine of 30, which is 1 half. And then I have NC is equals to 159 pounds. So very important to see what we did. We add forces in x, obviously. I have to have the component in x, which is this one right here, m alpha r cosine of 30, right? And this one right here, which is m alpha r sine of 30, right? And this one is equals to zero, so that's the only acceleration that we have.